Hey guys, welcome back. So today, as requested, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I make my cold brew coffee. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need some sort of iced coffee pitcher. This is the one I use, and I'll have everything listed and linked below. This one is by the brand Takea. I'm not quite sure how to say that properly. Looks like that. So it comes with the pitcher, the lid, and then also the filters, which mine are stained a little bit just because I use them every day. They get a lot of use, a lot of wear and tear. This is where the coffee, the ground coffee will go. Gonna need a coffee grinder. I like this one. Sorry, my dog is drinking water and he's like really loud. <laughs> I have a big coffee grinder, but I, I like this one because it's almost like portioned out it, the size of it is exactly how much how many beans like the amount and the volume of beans that I need to put in there so I'll show you that and then you're gonna need coffee I would recommend getting whole beans and grinding them yourself you can certainly get um, pre-ground or yeah pre-ground beans but it's not gonna it's just better if you get if you grind your own beans just trust me I'm trying to film this the best I can so bear with me you're gonna take your coffee I just use the Kirkland signature House Blend Medium Roast by Starbucks. And yeah, so I'm gonna take that and pour it into the coffee grinder here. I just fill it up to the top like that. There are directions about exactly how much, how many tablespoons, I think it's eight tablespoons to put in here, but I don't need to measure at this point. I do this almost every single day the lid on and grind it. I'll show you exactly how you want your beans to look when you're done grinding. I honestly just do 20 pulses. You want it to look something like this. Not too finely ground, but not too coarse. I probably could have gone a little bit more, but this is going to work just fine. So you're going to take your coffee put it into your filter, little filter cup here, and that's about how much it fills up, almost right up to the mesh strainer or filter. And then you're gonna take the lid, put it on there, and twist it on there, right? And then you wanna take cold water and fill up your pitcher. And I like to fill it up about this far, so there's like, maybe like an inch and a half at the top. And then you're gonna take your filter with the lid on it and just dunk it right in there and get that all secure on there. And then you're just gonna shake it. So you wanna shake it enough that it turns brown, basically. That's what it should look like. You'll notice that some of the water is already being soaked up by the beans. So then you're just gonna pop that in the fridge. And it is ideal if you go ahead and shake that pitcher up every couple hours and just put it back in the fridge. But honestly, most days I don't shake it up and it comes out just fine. And then when your cold brew concentrate is done, about 12 to 24 hours, I just make mine during the day and then leave it in there until the next morning. You're just gonna get your pitcher out of the fridge and you're gonna unscrew this part. Sorry you guys, it's really hard to do this by myself, to film it by myself. You're gonna unscrew that, and then there will be like coffee grounds on the lid here, so you're just gonna rinse that off, and then you can take it and just screw it right back into the pitcher, and then you'll have your cold brew concentrate already ready to go in there. You'll wanna go ahead and take your the beans that were in here and just put them in the trash, rinse it out, and make your coffee for the next day. As you saw, we do have the two pitchers because me and my husband both drink the cold brew and they also have like a big one. So if you want the big one, you can get that one. But I just wanted two little ones just because they fit in the fridge better rather than having like a really tall one. <laughs> and you do wanna keep in mind that that coffee that you're brewing is actually concentrate. So you will need to dilute it a little bit with water you can play around with how much you dilute it. I don't dilute it a whole lot. Um, I don't mind the taste of super strong coffee. And another thing that I do put in my coffee that I have to share with you because it's so amazing is this Oregon Chai Sugar-Free Chai Tea Latte Concentrate. So I actually just use this as a coffee flavoring 
in my cold brew coffee and it's so delicious. And for optimal drinking pleasure, you're gonna wanna drink your cold brew coffee over ice, like up to the top with ice. And I like to use it, or to drink it out of this Zach tumbler. It's a 30 ounce tumbler. You can get it for 10 bucks at Target. And I use the stainless steel silicone tip straws also from Target. So I will link those below as well. A couple more things I forgot to mention. So you can use just tap water. I think the recommendation is to use filtered water, but just use cold tap water. That's what I do and it's just fine. And then this is not just like a coffee flavoring, like I use it. It's actually, you can mix it half and half with milk. So just do one half milk, one half the concentrate, and you have yourself a chai tea latte. You can do it warm or cold, it's delicious. <laughs> if you're not into sugar-free, they do have that chai tea latte in a regular, like regular stuff, but I like the sugar-free because it's zero calories. It's super easy to do, and you'll never wanna go buy a Starbucks cold brew again because you can make it from home, you get to pick out whatever beans you want, if you want flavored beans. Um, I had a hard time, or I have a hard time finding whole beans that are actually flavored. So I just get the big bag at Costco and I flavor it myself with my chai tea latte concentrate and it works out just fine. <laughs> and that is just how I make cold brew coffee at home. It's super easy. Please let me know if you have any questions or if I forgot anything. Um, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely answer those. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.